Hello everyone, this is Ryu from Among the Hope Alliance Church, and I'm going to walk through in Elvanto how to schedule volunteers to a upcoming service. Okay. So this is um, my dashboard when I log in, this is the part of the admin dashboard. And yours may look slightly different depending on what roles and permissions that you have been granted. But all service coordinators should be able to see this service services at this left hand here and it goes to upcoming services now I will cover creating a service in a different video but here we're going to assume that you already have an upcoming service that you want to edit and add volunteers to so you find the service that you would like to add volunteers to and you come over here to volunteers <clears throat> and then you find the department of which you want to assign volunteers now you can do you Let's pretend you see here, I already have a couple um, members here in the band and production for our worship department here um, needing to uh, serve on this particular day, which is January 1st on Sunday, right? So if, for example, I'm trying to assign a uh, teacher for Sunday school, I go to the DMD department and we have sub departments like children's uh, Children's Ministry, these are the administration of Children's Ministry. We have Adult Sunday School, Pre-K. Every room that we have at church will be here, right? You see here it says two volunteers needed, so ideally you would have two teachers per room. Or if you only need one teacher that day, just schedule one, right? So let's pretend that we need to assign an Adult Sunday School here, right? And so we, you can click this plus button here. And it takes you to any of the volunteers that are available or part of the DM. So there's a filter that when you come here, right? It's filtering for people who, um, when you mark them as a volunteer, you can assign them a department and then sub department and what role they have in that sub department, right? Um, this service account here that we have here is marked for. I, he serves in the DMD, he's part of Adult Sunday School, and he's a teacher for that. So that's why he shows up here. If you want to clear all clear all the um, clear all of the uh, filters here you'll have um, everyone here right um, who is marked as a volunteer but we just want people at the Mono Hope Alliance location in DMD and in particular uh, we want an adult Sunday school and the teachers so. <clears throat> and so scheduling is easy you just drop over the teacher to this uh, left hand side here the department and you just save this should send an email over to the uh, person that you're uh, scheduling. Um, this blue question mark here means that um, uh, that uh, the email is in flight. So we can contact here and and filter for our volunteers that um, where we want we want to contact via email whether they've confirmed, unconfirmed, confirmed, declined. We can check these boxes, uh, or we can check only contact volunteers who have a prepared notification. And so we can filter for these. Uh, if the member doesn't have an email assigned to it or the system did not already auto send a email, which it does when you assign them and you click save from this prior screen, then it won't show up here. So for example, I don't have an email attached to this service account. This is just for test, testing and demonstration purposes, but it would. And for example, here, these green check marks means that the person who has been assigned has gone to that email and has confirm or decline whether they can serve in that position if it declines it'll be a red x and you'll need to you'll need to schedule someone else um, or if it's green that means they've saw it and they've confirmed that they can serve that day so that concludes as a service coordinator how to schedule people onto an existing upcoming service